Fora TV. The world is thinking. Consistent with the courtship origins of music is the finding that music seems to affect women more than men. For example, finger temperature, which is a physiological indicator of arousal, uh, will decrease to music, but for women, more strikingly so than men. The EEG, brain waves, uh, respond more to sad music than happy music, and again, the differential is greater uh, for women than for men. Music-induced moods affect women's memory more than they do that of men, and women are more responsive to the therapeutic effects of music such as they are. Girls are better at identifying the mood of music, that is, um, choosing appropriate schematic faces to go with a musical piece that's being played to them. Women, and not men, judge music that they dislike uh, as louder than preferred music played at the same volume. More men, of course, are tone deaf, just as they are colorblind. And musical frissons, as I mentioned earlier, uh, are more common in women. Uh, in fact, um, they are seven times more common in women. So all of those findings suggest that uh, women are more responsive to music than men. Uh, however, the responsiveness may not be specific to music, I have to say. That is, women are A, more sensitive to sound in general. They find loud noises... Uh, much more aversive than uh, men do, hence all these arguments uh, over how loud the stereo or the television should be playing. Uh, and uh, also, women are more emotionally reactive across the board, more empathic. Uh, so it, uh, the greater emotional responsiveness to music may just be greater emotional responsiveness and not specific to music. <laughs> 